Okay. What's up, folks? Welcome to the website. Um, my name's Jason. This is Jesse. You guys know us. Um, one of the major questions that we get a lot on the road uh, it comes down to our gear and what we play. And Jesse is kind of like the gear ma meister, I guess. He's kind of the guy that understands tech gear more than anybody else I've ever known. He helped me build my board, and I thought I was the guy who knew how to do that stuff. He came in and kind of showed me a whole new world of that stuff. So uh, today we want to just let you guys have a chance. I'm going to interview Jesse, ask him a few questions. He's going to show you a few things about his rig. So the first thing um, that Jesse always says and tones about is he talks about it starts with a good, clean amp tone. And um, that's what he taught me, and he's here to teach you a little bit too. So Jess, why don't you tell me a little bit about your clean amp tone and how you get it? Well, what we have here is uh, I run two amps, and as you can see back here, uh, the one on top is an orange, obviously. <laughs> it's a uh, Retro 50. It's one of their custom shop heads. Um, EL34 based on the power section, and uh, uh, I really love it because it's just a clean, it's single channel, uh, three band EQ is pretty simple. Uh, it's really easy to dial in a good clean tone. And the one below that is my matchless club at 35. Um, if you're not familiar with the matchless stuff, go play it. It sounds great. If you don't want to buy it, don't go play it. <laughs> if you want to buy a new amp, go play it. So if you're curious to see what, or to hear what it sounds like, uh, it's, it's a clean tone right here. Star Player TV and the cabinets. I hope you can hear that. Cabinets are back by, behind the curtains there, and we do that for just to keep them isolated. It's better uh, for our sound guy Brian front of house. He gets a cleaner mix. Yeah, people always wonder why why we put cabinets in the back. And we used to be actually Jesse and I both kind of come from the old school crank it up, turn it forward type thing. Um, but what we started realizing is that when we play in, even when you're playing a thousand seats, twelve hundred seats, or even even when we play outside, when you're putting 130 decibels of guitar off the front of the stage, and the front of house guy's 100 yards out, he's getting hit in the face with that. Guess what ends up not being in the PA? That's your guitars. They're not in the PA anymore. And um, and so we turn the cabs around so that he has full control of it. And that way the the, um, the PA is throwing our cabinets and our guitar sound long distance, see it, uh, a Marshall 412 is going to shoot out hard for about 100, 100 yards and then it's going to die and be gone. But with these PAs today, uh, literally they can delay that stuff and it can run out. You know, we've played shows before where it runs out a quarter mile or even more where they have delay towers running out further. Um, and so it just helps us to have a super strong in your face hit uh, as soon as we hit the note. And also from a guitar player's point, uh, point of view. I've discovered really early on, especially with two amps, like to get the best tone out of the amp, yeah. uh, you would want you want to hit the tubes hard, and, and there's only one way to do that. I mean, you'd have to crank the master volume up, as you can see here. Um, the, the master volume is probably like it's at three o'clock, and my gain's probably nine o'clock, yeah. and there is a I don't know if you can tell, but I mean there is a slight difference when you do. Obviously, that's going to get a little bit more distorted. And if you want, if you're going for that, I guess that's the way you do it. <laughs> yeah, but, but the key here is just to hit it hard. You hit it hard and you get better, better tone. And the reason I run two amps, uh, there's several reasons. First off the top of my head is, is, first of all, I feel like this amp is going to cover something this guy doesn't. And I've always been a huge fan of the Brit tone, and uh, the Matchless for me has just been uh, just one of those amps, amazingly clean, that which is a good starting point. Makes always makes your guitar sound like your guitar is supposed to sound like. If that makes sense. Uh, so it's always I've always had great results out of these two combined. And I, I run I run stereo, so they're always on all the time, and they're as you can tell, it's it's. When I when I let off 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 of it, it's pretty clean. But if I get on it, you get that really nice, you know, just slightly pushed on, which is kind of my favorite way to set it. People, and we'll get more into the delay side, uh, and effects side, 
which is where a stereo rig starts shining uh, in future videos. Uh, but one more thing we'll add to the, to the equation. People often wonder, well, why don't you just turn the amp down and get your clean sound? Well, there is a difference in the way that the speaker sounds when it's getting pushed. You can actually hear it pushing air, and that comes to the PA, and that's where you get that hard punch that we kind of live and breathe off of. So that's the video for today, Clean Tone 101. Jesse Garcia showing you how it's done, and we'll post more videos that show more to do with his effects really soon.